Hi, it's me, Terrence. Hi, my name is Eric. Hello, my name is Eugene. My name is Atos, and I'm from Malaysia. Hi, I'm Olivia, and I'm from Malaysia. I'm Okba, I'm from Johor Bahru. Hi, my name is Audrey, and I'm from Penang. Hi, my name is Beth, and I'm from Subang Jaya. I'm Livian, um, and I'm from Kedah. Hi, I'm Amashi from Sri Lanka. Hi, I'm Sashni, I'm from Sri Lanka. And we're graduating! <laughs> How was my first day of uni like? Um, it was scary. I remember feeling very, very scared. On my first day of uni, I remember feeling both excited and nervous at the same time. The first day of university was excitement and nerves. I remember feeling very nervous because I didn't know any of my high school friends that were coming to UNMC. Um, I have a trouble fitting in because everyone was like having friends and companions. Uh, it was July 4, 2013. I met my first roommate, my first ever roommate, and she has been my roommate for the next four years. Shibi Rosen, shout out to you. I was able to meet one of my close friends who stayed with me until to the end of my uni uh, education. Lah. I met a lot of people and I made a few friends. And um, the friends that I made on that day are still my friends today and some of them have become very good friends um, and have impacted my life in, in many ways. It was interesting. I was two months late because of visa issues. So it was getting dropped off at Trent with my luggage, going all the way to old accommodation with my luggage. And then changing my accommodation to new accommodation, <laughs> walking all across the university with my luggage. <laughs> oh, and my first meal was alone, and I had a moth in my butter chicken curry. I had to wait for the f three hours for my airport pickup, and then when it arrived, I was given a room in the campus hall on the first floor, on the ground floor. Basically, I'm entering the room. Uh, and I'm entering the bathroom and I see feet long some spider looking centipede you know, on the floor and for me the person who lived the whole life in Uzbekistan and never seen this exotic uh, insects and etc that was like a wow that was a huge shock I also came a month late and it was really hectic because you got to do you had to do all these registry and all uh, I, my parents then dropped me in my accommodation and I think I just waited there for the rest of the night and probably cried a bit because I was really sad. Oh yeah, I cried. <laughs> I cried too. My first experience was a treasure hunt held by my faculty so that I'll get to know my lecturers better and also my classmates. The treasure hunt was more than just a game but it's also a somewhat a guide for us to survive chemical engineering and I had fun, so which is great. What is my most memorable moment in uni? Um, there is a lot la, very a lot in fact. I mean there have been so, so many. many. I would say all the times I spent with my friends, but I enjoyed all the times we studied together, worked on projects together, or even just grabbing a midnight snack at 7-Eleven. Um, at the moment, I can only think of the time that me and my course mate went out for uh, dinner at Sukiya right after our year 2 semester 2 exam. Getting locked out of my room, but just like going to the next room. <laughs> so once, I wanted to tell her that I left my shampoo in the sports complex and I accidentally shut the door too hard and I got locked out in my room at 1 in the morning. <laughs> Most of third year, every single event of third year, Corinthian Island Trip, cultural mashup, ICN, swag. It is my participation in all the swag events. I performed in every single swag event except for the one in 2016. And I performed contemporary dance with my best friend Olivia, and it was just a lot of fun, really. Cultural shows, staying up till six. Yeah. yeah. I think one of my favourite memories would be every December, like on the last week of class, um, my classmates and I, we would always um, organise a secret Santa. I remember like every year I got a different person and every year I got such a thoughtful gift from a different person. So it was really a good way to bond with my classmates. All the training that me and Adeline went through, shout out to my friend Adeline, yo, all the training that we went through for basketball, that was... That was awesome, man. It's the time where I spent with my classmates in TCR. 
where we spent around at least a full day without sleeping in just TCR4 trying to finish up our work because uh, the due date was the next day, right? All the nights I stayed up with uh, my friends doing assignments. In foundation, we, we went out 3am just to go picnic in Putrajaya. We went to Uptown, we, we did a lot of stuff together. We literally picnic in front of the Mahkamah in Putrajaya, guys, like at 3am. Police walk by, like, hey, hello. On a field trip to PD with my classmate for a subject called environmental field course. We were supposed to go there to investigate the, the land, whether it's suitable to build a chemical plant. When we, when we were going there, we spent most of the time sleeping, but when we were coming back, we started playing riddles and everybody really participated in it. And the whole bus was just enjoying and having fun with it. And that was great because before year two, before the trip, we didn't really get to know our classmates because I had like around 100. 30, 140 classmates. Now that I think about it, the funniest moments are not really the moment in and of itself. It's not really the incident that was funny, but it's more like the people who made it funny. What would I tell your one me? I would tell my first year to stop being a coward and join the things you want to join. Not to be afraid. Don't be afraid. Go for it. To open up to new people. Go out there. Go all out. Go out there and meet people. You never know who you're gonna meet. Take chances because, like, you never know where all these chances will land you. You know, like, there's so many opportunities to grab. Um, and just go out there, put yourself out there. Trust me, you're in for a blast. Do everything you can, go to everything paintball, especially paintball. Go for paintball. Uh, more active in participating more in closet societies. Try your best to be more active in uni. Um, I, I think that's one thing that I wish I could have done more. Join something! Like, don't be scared. You're not that busy. You're very free. And just stop being inactive. You know, stop being inert. Don't start playing Dota. It sucks your soul and eats up most of your time. Re reading more books because I have a really short attention span. Don't forget your grades. Do everything you can, don't forget your grades. Study hard in your year one and year two because it builds up to your year three and your year four. Study hard and play hard. Remember to have fun as well. Just go with the flow. Yeah, don't I, take anything seriously. Yeah, I won't change anything, so yeah. I won't give myself any advice. Keep myself strong. I mean, like, I'll just do what I did. Take care of your physical health. Like. Push forward and and above all else, mental health first. Please always remember to give yourself gentle reminders. Keep yourself in check and always, always take care of yourself. I'm sure by the time you graduate or maybe even a few years after that, you will start to appreciate all that fun and dumb stuff that you did. And you'll realize how it actually affected your life, how it shaped you to become the true version of yourself, the true you. and. Never hesitate. It's been nice, yeah, NMZ. I really, really miss you, Jungle. Bye. 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 Au revoir, NMC.